Ladies and gentlemen, this Karen comes out of San Diego. She approached a couple at a dog park in San Diego and maced them for not wearing masks and eating in the dog park. So apparently you're not supposed to be eating there in the dog park. And they were, so she maced this man that you see covering his face, um, putting his, um, he was already maced by the time you see him do this in the picture. And the food that they were eating, she maced the food too. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video. It's from Karen Gober from Instagram. What are you doing? You cannot be serious. You just, you just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him and their food because you disagree. Don't worry, I'm videotaping. Don't worry. I'm not okay. That is not okay. Not okay. What's wrong with you, lady? That is wrong. It's okay, guys. This is her car. Don't worry, I got it. You weren't defending yourself, lady. And I've got this. I didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. All right. You saw that, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, a California couple pressed charges against a woman who said they attacked her. <laughs> she said she was defending herself, right? But she was the one with the pep uh, pepper spray, and she approached them during an argument at the dog park over masks. So this couple did not have a mask on at all. And they were at the dog park with their dog named Dusty. So this happened July 23rd, 2020, when a woman approached them. A witness recorded part of the exchange and the clip, of course, was uploaded on social media. O'Brien explained to ABC affiliate KGTV that the woman reprimanded them for not wearing masks and scolded them for eating inside the dog park. O'Brien said after briefly walking away, the woman returned minutes later and sprayed them. She maced them, y'all. This Karen was carrying mace. The couple contacted the San Diego Police Department and filed a report. Heavy has reached out to the San Diego PD to request a copy of the report. The Max woman in the video has not been publicly identified. O'Brien explained in a Facebook post that she and her husband sat down at a picnic table to eat lunch at the Dusty Road uh, Dog Park. Okay, Dusty Road Dog. I'd say that's the name of the dog park. Um, they had their puppy, a three-month-old pug, with them. O'Brien said they were at the table by themselves and were social distancing. She wrote on Facebook, we were not wearing masks because we were eating. You can't wear a mask and eat at the same time. O'Brien explained that a random old woman approached them at the table to tell them they aren't allowed to eat in the dog park and that they should be wearing face masks. She kept calling us idiots and flipping me off. So she was giving them the middle finger. Mm -mm -mm. Then started to say more stuff. And I told her, to leave the park and stop harassing us. O'Brien added that she and her husband had been unaware that food was not allowed in a dog park. The woman did briefly leave the couple alone, but returned a few minutes later. O'Brien claimed the woman pointed a can of mace at her face, prompting O'Brien's husband to move between the two women. So she went in her car to get the mace. That's what she did. So what she did was she went to her car, returned with that mace. Mm -mm -mm. So, you know, she can't even say that's self-defense.
that's not self-defense if you did something like that. Okay, so the husband got between the two women. O'Brien told KGTV, my husband, being a good guy, walked in front of her and was like, hey, calm down. Please don't do this. And then she grabbed him and just started macing him. She used the entire can on him. A witness recorded a portion of the confrontation, which you just saw in the video that has been shared on social media online. The woman can be seen spraying something at O'Brien's husband. He has his arms raised and it appears he tries to grab the pepper uh, spray out of her hand. O'Brien is heard crying off camera. The person who was recording the video speaks up and says, what are you doing? You cannot be serious. You just maced him and their food because you disagree. Another man also heard off camera remarking, that's not okay. You can't treat people like that. The witness also said, what's wrong with you, lady? You weren't defending yourself, lady, O'Brien later wrote on Facebook. Thank God for the bystander that took this video because we are going to the police now to press charges. I am sharing this because people need to watch out for this lady in San Diego. Please share and spread awareness. That is me crying hysterically in the background because my innocent husband just got maced for no reason. We want justice. Wow. I tell you what. It is really a war in America when it comes down to wearing masks and not wearing masks. And it just seems like the people that agree, strongly agree, and the people that disagree, strongly disagree to wear masks. Boy, I tell you, it just seems like each day just gets crazy in this country. Okay, so O'Brien said some of the pepper spray got on his arm and that it burned, but her husband took the brunt of the attack to his face. The couple went to Balboa Hospital for treatment, according to San Diegoville. Their next move was to file a report with the San Diego police. O'Brien later wrote on Facebook that she hopes the woman is identified and arrested. O'Brien also told San Diego Ville that she's grateful her puppy was not hit with any pepper spray. Pugs already have bad respiratory issues, so he would have been killed. Face coverings have been required in California since mid-June to curb the spread of coronavirus. Now, I know in my state, you have to wear them outside or even if you're in, you know, inside of a business or, you know, a grocery store or something like that, you still have to have it on all the time, as long as you're out and about or even indoors. So we do know many states have required that over the recent weeks. Adults and children over the age of two must wear masks when outside of the home but the rules are more relaxed when spending time outside. According to the order from the California Department of Health, community members do not have to wear masks outside unless they are in a situation where social distancing is not possible. The order states that masks must be worn. And this is their statement. While outdoors in public spaces, when maintaining a physical distance of six feet from persons who are not members of the same household or residence is not feasible. A list of exceptions, persons who are engaged in outdoor work or recreation, such as swimming, walking, hiking, bicycling, or running, when alone or with household members, or when they are able to maintain a distance that's at least six feet from others. 
So ladies and gentlemen, this Karen, mm -mm -mm, maced a couple because they did not have on a face covering. Boy, these stories are just getting crazier by the day. It just seemed like the last three I have done, it, these folks just gone over the top. Y'all remember the man at the Verizon store and then the Karen on the beach with the measuring tape. And now this woman is out macing people, y'all. <laughs> Boy, you can't make this stuff up, y'all. For real, you can't make it up. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this Karen macing a couple. I'm going to play this again so you can see it one more time. What are you doing? You cannot be serious. You just, you just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him and their food because you disagree. Don't worry, I'm videotaping. Don't worry. That's not okay. Not okay. What's wrong with you, lady? That is wrong. It's okay, guys. This is her car. Somebody. Don't worry, I got it. You weren't defending yourself, lady, and I've got this. I didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. So, ladies and gentlemen, now there is ABC 10 out of San Diego news footage, but I didn't use that footage because they blurred out this old woman's face completely. You know, they're trying to protect her. So this Instagram post, you know, you can, you know, see her with her mask on. At least she's not all blurred out like the news station in San Diego had her. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.